I'm Ro James, and this is my home in Queens. This is my room, basically my everything. Albums that inspired me, artwork that inspired me. I've been inspired by country music, rock music, Prince and Marvin Gaye, but also David Bowie and Johnny Cash. All these different genres have just come together and everybody's just making music and it's world music essentially that anybody all over the world can listen to as long as you have a heart and feeling, then you will appreciate the music. So I have an album coming out in May, El Dorado. El Dorado is the journey to New York where I had always wanted to be and pursuing this dream of mine of sharing my art and my perspective musically and creatively. El Dorado means so many different things to me. It means the city of gold. It was my first car my dad gave me. This is my caddy. <laughs> I'm telling you, heated seats in the winter, like smooth ride. I'm just trying to stay fresh out here. Someone knocked off my mirror. Someone backed into my car. My tire's flat. I need to fix her up. It's going through the transition at the same time as me. <laughs> I moved back into this house about five years ago so I can really focus on my music. So basically, this is the house that I grew up in with my grandmother. I do a lot of writing in here, conceptualizing. I'm thinking of a song when I'm sitting here gaming. You know what I mean? So this is little me, my old Cadillac. I got some hats over here. Jigs on me, jeez. <laughs> My dad is a pastor, he sings gospel. They told him at church that you should go home and throw away all your secular music, so he threw away all the albums, and I remember that day. I'm pissed. I felt like we were held, held back from listening to a lot of music, but he put us on to the classic music, which made me listen to it, like Otis Redding. He like, let us listen to like the great singers versus listening to what was popular at the time. And as I grew up, I realized that it helped me to have a sense of individuality because I was different. Come give me that green light. When someone listens to my music, I want them to feel the emotion behind what you're hearing, and I want you to connect to it and apply it to your own life. I played South by a couple years ago and the reception was great. I appreciate Texas. I think people in Texas appreciate art, especially in Austin, the culture, the vibe, the energy down there. So this time it's just building on what I did last time, playing at the PlayStation house, you know, that opportunity is great with BJ Chicago Kid, that's my boy, because that's all I'm doing. I'm collaborating with people that I've met along the way. And that's what El Dorado means, just like collecting those memories and those people to bring them on the journey with me. So it's like, I got mad people in my El Dorado. PlayStation.